In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to ask the user to pick a colour using a HTML5 colour picker and once they actually choose the colour they can submit it and we're going to write some PHP that's going to take that colour and splish the red, the green and the blue parts in with the form code I'm naming this file lab03i-form.php and I've just got a colour picker which this is a HTML5 input type of the colour type and we've got that in a form. Let's just check that out, what it looks like on the page. So here's the color picker. And uh, so here's the color picker. Uh, we've got a color, and depending on the browser, this may look a little bit different, but we can choose any hexadecimal color. Submit, and it goes on to the next page. And it just takes that hexadecimal code with a hash symbol in front of it and passes it on as a string. And we can see that here in the results page. I'm just taking the color uh, value out of the post array, assigning it into a color variable, and then I am echoing that out. Let, let's just see that that works. And let's just see that we're getting a hexadecimal color value there. And we are. It doesn't matter which color we pick, we'll get, uh, now that we've got the color value in this variable called dollar color, how do we take it apart and just get the red constituent part, uh, the blue and the green constituent parts, uh, and split them all up? Well, we are going to use a substring uh, to take out the two different digits that represent each of the red, green, and blue parts um, in the hexadecimal color code. The first thing I'm going to do then is to create a new variable. I will call it um, red part. And uh, I'll assign into that substring in the uh, PHP manual uh, to see the re reference for substring. It returns a string and it takes at least two arguments and possibly a third one as well. Uh, the first one is the input string, which in our case is just uh, dollar sign color. And then we've got uh, the start where we want to start taking from and then we can choose whether or not to put in the length. So back to my code and I will put in dollar color, it contains the hexadecimal color. Where do I want to start taking from? Well, the hash symbol is included in this uh, hexadecimal color that gets passed on from the HTML5 color picker. So I have to take that into account. That hash symbol would be index zero. So I really want to start taking from index one. And I want to take two characters. And uh, that's that statement. So that's going to take out those red characters and assign it into this uh, variable called red part. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same type of thing for uh, green part and blue part. So we have got each of the different parts been stripped out using the substring function and getting assigned into a relevant uh, variable. And I can see each time I'm just adding up two onto the index from the one before. You can think about um, creating uh, new variables that will still be hexadecimal codes but will only have Let's say the red part in one, the green part in another, and the blue part in another, surrounded by zeros either side of it. That will isolate the different colors, red, green, and blue, but still in an actual hexadecimal value. Tackle uh, a red hexadecimal color. So I'm going to take the red part that I'd isolated before, and I'm just going to concatenate on a string literal of 0000, zero, zero, zero at the end. So that will give me whatever the red part was of the color with 0000 zero, zero, zero at the end to take account of the green and blue parts. So I'm isolating just the red into a hexadecimal color. And I'm gonna do the same type of thing for green, green hex. I'll take the green part, except instead of having 000, zero, zero at the end, I'm gonna put on 00, zero at the beginning, concatenate green part in the middle and just have two zeros at the end. And then the same for the blue hex. Now I'll take the blue part and instead of having 0000, zero, zero, zero at the end, I'll have 0000 zero, zero, zero at the beginning. And that will give me a blue hexadecimal value. On a little bit more, I'll just uh, put a comment quickly on each of these different parts. Move on to actually creating these different divs so I can actually show the actual colors in some container that holds a background color for me. So I've got three different div elements and to actually get the background color in there, I can use an inline style here to do that for me. And once I've got the background color property stated, I just need to drop in the value. In this case, for my first one, I'm just going to get the red part. Create a div with a background color, 
and that will just give me the red part and I need to do the same type of thing now for um, the green and the blue. All is good so far, um, but just one thing I need to take account of is these divs doesn't have any content in them, so therefore they aren't going to have any width or height. I would need to make them have a width or a height. Let's just test it. Save that, go back. There it is. So I've got the three different colors there. Let me just go back and choose a different color. If I go down to quite a blue color with very little else, I should see darker versions of the red and the green. So there's very little red and green, it's almost all blue. Internal style sheet. And I might just um, set it up in such a way that uh, I see the original color that was chosen as well, just above it so I can compare. I don't have to actually be hitting the back button every time. So I'll go back to my code. I can add in another div and this time I'm just putting in the original color. And that will split them up nicely. And so I'll go back again, choose just one more color just to kind of show that we're working again. Uh, so that's working pretty well. And some context for the user. And there it is. So that's how to break a hexadecimal color value coming in from a HTML5 color picker into its red, green and blue constituent parts.